Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be starting episode 11 of our Catacomb series, and where we try to do some deep dives on specific D2R edits and kind of guide you along the way. Um, and with that said, today's topic is going to be all about waypoints, um, how they work, creating your own waypoint, things like that. Um, so as usual, if you guys are enjoying this kind of stuff, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, and with that said, let's just roll right into it. Um, so as usual, we're going to start off by grabbing all the files we need. Um, so we'll go to Data Global Excel and grab out all the um, text files. Um, so I've already grabbed uh, all the files we'll need for this video today. But as usual, I'm going to go over, uh, you know, everything to grab out uh, as we go. Um, so we will need actinfo.txt. This is a new file in Diablo 2 Resurrected to help define the waypoints. Um, and then we're going to need two files for the actual level edit. That's going to be levels.txt for the level itself and level press.txt uh, because in today's video we're going to be editing a preset level. Um, we're going to be making a cheat waypoint um, to take you directly to Diablo. Um, so instead of running through River of Flame, if you wanted to just go directly to the sanctuary, um, we're going to show you how you could do something like that just for uh, example purposes. Um, so with that, those are the text files we need. Um, so now that you know what we'll be editing, we're also going to need data, global, tiles, act four, Diablo, and we're going to want part.ds1. That's going to be the actual um, uh, map file, sorry. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove the ones I had and grab a fresh one here. Um, but again, this is going to be the chaos sanctuary map file, uh, which is where we're going to put our waypoint. So we'll want to grab that out. Um, and then finally, we're going to need the HD version of this map. Um, and that's going to be in data, HD, environment, preset, act four, Diablo, and then we'll see heart.json. So you'll also want to grab out that. Um, and those will be all the files we'll be editing today. So those five files. Again, that's the legacy map file, the HD uh, visuals for that map, and then the three text files that we'll need to edit. So with everything grabbed out, we're all done there. Um, let's go ahead and start with our edit. So the first edit we'll do is just going to be using WinDS1 Edit. This is a program created by Paul Cerami. Uh, definitely recommend checking out the uh, his source link there to learn how the program works and you know all the things it can do. Um, but for us, all we're just going to be doing today is adding a waypoint. So if you don't already have it, uh, I download the complete version here. Just makes it easy and includes all the files you'll need. Um, if you want to do extracting of your own or you have your own um, you know, text files and stuff that you're trying to, to put in there, go ahead and use the core version. Um, with that, we're going to go ahead and just run that program, and you'll see something like this when you open it up here. Um, so all we want to do is grab that heart.ds1 file. Um, again, that's the map file, and that's what we're trying to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and select the add option here. Um, you can see it's already pointing to that folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and select it and open. Um, with it now uh, loaded up, we're going to go ahead and select it and then select the run option. Um, this is going to load up the actual map in the editor and we can start doing our editing. So uh, first thing first, obviously you can see the actual section of the map we'll be editing today. It's not any of the waypoint areas, it's directly by uh, Diablo in the pentagram. So um, we'll zoom in a little bit and show you what we'll be doing. Um, so we're gonna pretend we wanna add a waypoint somewhere in this area, um, just kind of right before you get to Diablo. Um, so you can kind of take your pick on where you wanna go from there. Um, so to do that, we're if you look in the very bottom right, you can see that we're currently Currently on the tile placement mode. I'm going to go ahead and hit tab so it switches to the object placement mode. Um, and now that that's done, um, we basically just want to select a place to put our waypoint. Um, so I'm going to say that this is a good a spot as any, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the insert key to put a new object in here. Um, now you can see that currently it's going to spawn some random champion monsters, um, but we don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and right click to select a new object. Um, and instead of a type one object, we want to select type two. Um, and we want to select the very first index here. We're just going to go ahead and copy this uh, waypoint ID 238. Um, we're going to use that. So we're just going to select that and then select OK. And now you can see we've placed a new waypoint in the map at this location. Um, we actually don't need to do anything else. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and hit Escape 
select the save option so we know it's all good there. And you can see it will create a backup file. This is our original, and then here's our modified one. So obviously you can delete the backup if you want. Um, you can also change that in the settings if you don't like backups. But anyways, um, this is our newly edited map file. So we're all set there. Now we're just ready to mess with some of our text edits. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the Excel folder, and we're going to start out with actinfo.txt. Um, so as I mentioned before, this is kind of new to Diablo 2 Resurrected, um, and this will help define basically what level levels are contained within one what acts, um, so that it knows uh, you know how to split up waypoints and different things like that. So um, you can see here that we have waypoints selected. Every act has up to nine waypoints. Uh, that's one for town and then the eight for, you know, different levels. Um, so we're cheating a little bit by picking an act that um, has some free waypoints available. Um, if you're trying to add a waypoint in Act 1, for example, um, then you might have to choose something that you don't use or that's not important um, to you and replace that waypoint uh, with wherever your, your custom one is going. Um, but again, we're kind of cheating a little bit by just uh, using one that we don't have to, to bother with replacing any, um, just because it's easier for demo purposes. Um, but with that said, uh, we're going to open up levels.txt so we can get the level name that we're trying to copy. Um, so again, we're going to be editing uh, Diablo's kind of sanctuary here, the Chaos Sanctuary. Um, so this is the level name that we're trying to add to a new waypoint. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to go into the waypoint 4 section and paste that in there. Um, so now after the River of Flame waypoint, we should have an additional, additional waypoint um, for the Chaos Sanctuary. Um, so that's what the only change we need to make uh, for this particular edit. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, but now that the game is looking for a waypoint um, at this level, we need to actually give it one. Um, so we've put the object in the map. We've now also told the game that there should be a waypoint here. Um, now we need to define the waypoint itself so that everything kind of links up correctly. So if we go all the way over, I'm going to go ahead and lock these rows here to make it easier. Um, if we go kind of almost all the way to the end, we're going to see this waypoint column. Um, so there's really only two things you need to know. Um, the first is that if you find 255 in the column, it basically is meant to ignore that, uh, meaning there's no waypoint on that level. If it has any other number, um, that is the kind of index or the list um, ID of that waypoint. Um, so we can see here that for the Chaos Sanctuary, for the level we're trying to edit, it's currently told that there's no waypoint there. Um, so what we want to do is um, either give it the next in the sequence, um, so like ID 30, and then we can do a simple plus one uh, to all the other entries to, to balance it all out, or we can, um, you know, add it at the end. Uh, but because we're putting it kind of in the middle of the axe, um, I personally prefer to just add one and keep it within that range. So I'll just show you how to do that real quick. It's uh, pretty quick and easy. So we're just going to hold control, select all the different um, entries that have a value in them, and you can see it's just those ones there. And then with them all selected, we can select the math option plus, and then we can add our one. And now they're all back in, in the range um, and we've done our edit. So um, now the level itself is told that it has a waypoint. Again, that act info file links everything up. Um, so we're technically done um, as far as getting it to work for us. Um, so if I start this mod, um, you know, we'll go ahead and show you how the, the waypoint itself should work now. Um, but there are going to be some things that aren't quite right yet. Um, and I want to show you those so that if you run into that issue, you know exactly what's causing it and how to fix it. So the first thing we'll see here is that now if we go to our waypoints, we do indeed see our new entry. Um, and if I select that entry, um, you'll notice that it didn't actually take me to where we put the waypoint. Um, it just kind of stuck me near the middle of the map. Um, and, you know, that's obviously not what we wanted because we put a waypoint, you know, in that spot for a reason. However, you'll notice if I do go to that spot, there's kind of like an invisible waypoint now. Um, so I can select this and it works as normal. We can go back to town. And if I go back here, 
it still takes me back to this spot for some reason. So you can see the waypoint's activated and it you know works properly, but it's just not taking us to where we told it to. Um, and there's a real simple fix for that, and I'm going to show you that right now. So we're going to just go ahead and exit game. And uh, now we're going to open up level press.txt. So um, this kind of defines the preset levels. And uh, normally, Act 4, uh, you know, Diablo Sanctuary doesn't have um, any waypoint entry. So it's basically told to, uh, you know, ignore that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, as usual, just lock those rows. And if we go to this scan section here, um, this controls, again, I always recommend looking at the data guide here. Um, so just real quickly, I'm going to go ahead and go to the level press.txt. And we can see that for the scan section, when it equals 1, then it allows the usage of warping with waypoints. Um, so that sounds like something that should be important to us. So we're going to go ahead and set the value in this uh, level to 1 for the scan section. And now it's going to scan that level for any waypoint objects. Um, and if you remember from our very first step here, we added that waypoint object directly into the map. So now when we go into game, I'm going to go ahead and just show you this step by step. Um, we should see that um, it will still be invisible, um, but we should now have it actually warping us to the correct location at least. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just test that real quick. And you'll see now I go to the waypoint area. Um, so again, it's still a little bit invisible, doesn't look right, but at least now it's taking me to the correct location. So just as a, a reminder, if it's not taking you to your actual waypoint, that means you need to set the scan field to one for that level so it knows to scan for that object. Um, and then the final change that we need to do is arguably the uh, most complicated looking, but it's still quite easy, um, is we need to add the visual for that waypoint. Um, so obviously you probably noticed that um, although it worked, it didn't look like a waypoint, um, and especially before you activate it, it's almost invisible. Um, so what we want to do for that is go to our JSON file. Again, that was HD ENV for environment, preset, Act 4, Diablo, and we're just going to open up that JSON file. Um, one thing we'll also grab, uh, I'm going to format this real quick. Just right click and select the format option. Um, one thing we might also want to grab for a reference is uh, maybe we just want to copy a waypoint object from another map. Um, so I'm just going to grab something like we'll go into this Mesa folder here um, for the River of Flame uh, levels. And I'm going to open up, oh, helps if I'm in the right area. So HD environment preset. Now we can go in Mesa folder and we can grab out our just we'll just grab like warp lava.json. We'll open that up and this will let us see some of the entries here. So I'm just going to do a search for warp. And let me go to our first result here. So these are all the dependencies um, in this area here. We can skip to our first like actual entry. Um, and we're going to see it's right here in the preset section defined as an entity, um, we're going to see an entry for warp path. Um, so this is going to be the actual model it uses. Um, it defines all kind of the physics of the object and things like that. Again, defines the actual model to use. Um, so we're going to copy this entire section from the last bracket here um, all the way to this uh, opening bracket. So again, they should line up if you're using something like Visual Studio Code. Uh, this you know, bracket should be on the same exact line as this bracket up here. So we're going to copy that entire block, um, and this is going to be pasted into our heart.json. So I'm just going to go scroll down here, um, and we're going to find just kind of any empty spot. It doesn't really matter um, to, to put it in. Um, and we'll just say here is good enough. So again, here's the end of one block. We can we know that with the, uh, um, you know, comma and the, uh, closing bracket there. So I'm just going to hit enter and then we're going to paste our new entry in. Um, so our new entry is placed in, um, but it's not going to line up uh, with where we want it to be um, because we haven't adjusted the positions and everything. Um, so just for uh, demo purposes or, or visual purposes, I'm going to run this map again and show you exactly where we place that object. Um, so if you'll notice, there's, there's 
kind of two modes or two different ways you can see where you've placed something. So in the tile placement mode, if you look in the bottom left corner, um, you're going to see where it says cell and then some values and quotes. Um, and you can see that basically where I put it is between 1018 and 1117. Um, so you can either multiply that value roughly by times 10 or so, and that's going to be the position you put in for X and Z. Um, so it's going to be uh, roughly 100 um, and 180 for the positions there. Um, or you can go and uh, hit tab to go to the object placement mode. And now you'll notice there's a subcell section um, where we have the values 54 and 90 for the exact placement it is. And you can multiply this by roughly 2.1 or so um, to get the um, you know X and Z positions. So um, I've cheated a little bit and I already know kind of the X and Z positions um, for this particular placement. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter those in now. Um, so for me, that's gonna be uh, something like 118 um, with a height of seven. And we're gonna give it a Z of, I believe it was 190.6. I might be wrong on that. We'll, uh, We'll have to check that. So anyways, we're, we're, all we're doing is we're adjusting the actual physical placement of that 3D model in the kind of resurrected um, visual space. We're not going to bother changing um, any of the physics components or anything like that um, or changing the model um, that it uses. We want it to stay in theme with the rest of the Act 4 waypoints. Um, but anyways, we've made our change there. We've adjusted our positions. So we're going to load up the game one more time. Um, and assuming I did uh, get the positions correct, we should now see that um, our waypoint is activated, it warps to the right spot, and it has the correct visual to, you know, indicate to the player that it's actually a waypoint. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. And there we go. So now you can see everything's lined up. Looks like a legitimate waypoint that we just placed here. Um, but I want to show you one more quick thing, just because you'll see there's no monsters around here where normally there might be. Um, you can control this setting. Uh, it's a real quick and easy change. Um, but we want to show you, uh, you know, how you can control whether just basically the, the monster spawn radius that's allowed around this waypoint. So if I exit out one last time and we go back to our levels.txt entry and we make sure we have our new uh, or our edited, you know, uh, Chaos Sanctuary selected and we scroll back over here um, near the beginning. Oh, past it. We're looking for a column that says warp distance. And we can see it here in vanilla as column B. Um, so currently it's basically set, um, you know, again, you can use the, the data guide to um, look at the exact meanings for these files and the exact calculations. Um, but currently it's set that uh, for a large radius from around the waypoint, no monsters are allowed to spawn. But you can see on some other entries here um, that you can set it much lower if you want that to be, let's say, a more dangerous waypoint. Um, so we can set that to 100, um, which is a, basically one of the kind of minimum, uh, you know, spawn quantities, uh, spawn distances, sorry. Um, and now we can go ahead and restart the mod and see that um, when we use our waypoint, we might get that ambush the second we, we go there. Um, so again, if you want to kind of control the difficulty of waypoints, um, you can adjust them like that. So let's uh, go ahead and select it again. And now you see I'm immediately getting attacked. Um, monsters are allowed to spawn close to the waypoint now. Um, so again, depending on just the, the luck of your RNG or whatever, um, it might be set that you just get ambushed by a champion pack the second you go to the waypoint. Um, so control that how you like, and I hope this has uh, helped you understand how you can uh, edit things to your liking and, uh, you know, add some new functionality. Thanks for sticking around to the end, and have a great day. Bye.